expectations for this matchup as round one gets underway. Seems to be a striking advantage on one side, but on the other, truly a fighter who can do it all. And that guy will usually have the advantage on paper. When you're a striker at this guy's level, that will normally balance out whatever advantage the other guy has. Oh, setting up the left hook, but out of range. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landing by the cover. Really making good use of his reach advantage there with that punch. throws that body kick. Liver kick, if you take those kicks, it's gonna shut your body off. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? He's doing a nice job putting it all together. Under three minutes now to go on the round. Two is better than one. Might as well double up on the jab. He did so effectively there. Doubling up on the jab, and you see his opponent's head popping back every time he lands. Very nice outside leg kick by him there, DC. We'll see if he follows it up here. He's really driving his shit into his opponent's thigh, beating his leg up. Good punch land. Back to the left hand now, unable to connect. What a body kick. And he landed the right hand there. Guys, keep moving. And then take shot. Now, take shot. Choi's kick to the body here. That one appeared to be blocked. Just misses with that one. Over and over, he landed a big body kick. Got clipped with the right hand. Unable to connect with the right. Big powerful punch lands. Now he gets back to range. So we cross the 30-second mark in our opening round. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Oh, that's a nice straight punch there. Super punch, got to the target. Well, he's always working off of that jab. Nice jab there by Choi. Round two next. All right, so we now look back at some of the action from that previous round, DC. A lot of good highlights on both sides. I mean, a lot of good highlights from both competitors. They both should be very proud of what they accomplished. But I'm telling you, man, I'm not sure they can keep this up. If they land at this clip for another five minutes, somebody's going to sleep. Round two is upon us. Your thoughts on round one, Shane? Round one was a very close round. Both guys had their moments, but nobody has really went out ahead in the race as we go into the second round. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. And he connects there with a punch, so pretty good striking display by him thus far. He throws everything so straight and so accurate. Inside leg kick lands. Ooh. Oh, beautiful jab there. It's one thing to have length. Of course, it's another to use it effectively. Beautiful job with that jab. Anderson's lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of swelling. Effective punch there by the Korean Super Bowl. Oh, Superman punch. Not always easy to execute. He did so there. And that one certainly found the target. Shot to the body now blocked by Choi. Lands a glancing right hand upstairs. Well, straight right hand has been a good weapon for him. He misses with it there. Well, his corner was pretty urgent after round one. A little bit lackluster there in that opening round. He has certainly picked up the pace here. And as a result, he has taken control of this second round. 
Oh, nice connection there with the punch, DC. Great time to land that punch. Trying to find a home for that right hand. Throws the right hand there. Oh, Superman punch lands. Beautiful kick. Well, as my favorite rap group Onyx would say, stick and move, right? Huh. Beautiful slip off the center line there. Yeah, what a great job of moving the edge. It doesn't take much to avoid a punch. Oh, nice, nice. He blocks the punch. Pretty good right hand. Well, he's been pretty accurate tonight. He's landed some significant strikes, but his corner's looking for him to mix it up a little bit more and just throw more volume. Because they don't see too much of a threat. This guy has to have confidence in knowing that when he extends his combinations, he's still safe, but he's also gonna be able to land. He's gotta be finding that confidence in his mind that all the reps in the training room are going to pay off. Straight right hand, no good. That one's the game. Nice strike. Round three next. All right, now we check out some of the action from that previous round, DC. How about the display of striking? Just high level. I mean, you would think that we're watching a K1 level kickboxing match opposed to being in the UFC. Both displayed great technical skills, unbelievable striking. All right, another round is now underway. Pretty good previous two rounds. We'll see who makes the requisite adjustments now. The adjustments are going to be the key, John. When you're doing everything you're trained to do, and it stays this close, you got to really switch it up. Wood Corner was able to relay that message to their fighter better in between rounds. Well, not only has he stayed aggressive as he was in the previous round, landing a high volume of strikes, but he's also been efficient, not just with his strikes, but also with his body movement. Complete performance out of this fighter here tonight. Nice loop and punch. Oh, pinpoint knee to the body. If you're trying to knock me out, you can one knee to the body, I'm done. Every time the opponent tries to get close, he just drives that knee to the body. Great time. Trying to establish that jab once again. Went inside on that leg kick. Dude, jab left hook and went inside. Usually, you know, you see guys throw the outside kick there. That was nice. Oh, big head kick land. Right hand punch from the clinch. Continues to work out of that tight clinch. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Yeah, he's mixing it all up. Well, he is really starting to apply a lot of pressure here down the stretch. Not as much offense earlier in the fight. He is making up for lost time now. Nice strike. Joy gets absolutely melted by that head kick. Yep, not a ton behind it, but it landed. And they separate. Connects with the right. Man, doesn't take a lot of these kicks to produce redness. Look at the left side of his body there. Nasty. Beautiful strike. Anderson's head kick attempt, that one is blocked. Wild attempt with the right hand there. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Whoa! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Straight right, he misses. And they separate. Beautiful punch. Well, he has certainly found the range and staying pretty busy here on the floor. He's being busy, but it's also the timing and the accuracy that's allowing him to land so many attacks. Oh, 
Tags him with the straight. Nice job there by Anderson. Head kick. Nice kicks there by Anderson. All right, a lot of tremendous striking action in that last round, DC. I know you don't have a Telestrator, but take us through the replay. I mean, I would love to have my Telestrator right now. That was a great display of high-level mixed martial arts striking. Both combatants stood toe-to-toe -to -toe and let it all hang out. All right, DC, here we go with our next round. It wasn't just the accuracy, it was the aggressiveness, the volume. It was unbelievable to watch him be so active. The cardio, the push, the pace, and the pressure that he fought with. It's going to be very interesting to see if he can maintain this over 15 minutes. Well, we talked about that reach advantage as you see him land the straight punch there. Great job using his length in that situation. Punches in bunches. Whoa! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right. Oh! Back to the feet. Nice punch land. And both guys really throwing with authority. Able to check that kick as well. Nice knee of the body, very nice. He understands that doing the body work will pay dividends the longer the fight goes. He does everything so well, and he's so calm. He's so calm in the face of such a big spot. Oh, big punch lands. Oh, lands another beautiful strike to the body, really starting to connect it. Oh, he's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Oh, he might be out. Oh! All right, he's got the full mount now. Is this one of the most dominant positions in MMA? Is that fair to say? It's a very dominant position. It's one of the most ideal positions you can get to, especially if you are fighting someone that doesn't truly understand that they're not in as much danger as they are. Because it's dangerous, but there are a lot of outs. And if a person isn't, very understanding of that, then you can really, really put some damage on it. Oh, nice check on the leg kick offering there. Ooh, head kick lands was hurt. Well, missed on that one. Oh, he landed that kick to the outside of the lead leg there, DC. He is chopping up that leg. They say chop down the tree. You beat your opponent by slowing him down first with those nice outside leg kicks. Big punch lands through the middle. 30 seconds now to go in the rounds. He's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. What a round. All right, that's the end of the round. And all cameraman all over that cut on the cheek. That thing is getting wider by the minute and only getting worse. Cut man going to earn his money tonight. You really broke him down with your striking. Keep that gum. The inside low kick is awesome. All right, so a big knockdown for him courtesy of that punch in that round. DC, here's a replay. Big moment in the previous round. They were both fighting very well, but when he landed this punch right here that sits his opponent down, it showed that the power is not equal, and if he can land, he does have the ability to damage it. You ready? You ready? It is the fifth and final round. Nice punch lands over the top. Right there is a high-level knockout, ladies and gentlemen. Crowd absolutely loving it. Just